okay so welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series so today we are we are starting with our very first concept of the object oriented programming languages that is objects and classes so in this video we will be covering objects and classes so let's just get started so first of all i'll be covering objects then i will cover uh, class okay so what is object an object is an entity that has in state a behavior is known as object for example chair bike marker pen everything you see surrounding you is an object in a real world entity right it can be physical or the logical okay the example of an intangible object is a banking system that we have done project uh, on it uh, as if you have watched or following the series okay so what are the characteristics of the object a state a state represent represents the data of an object and the behavior behavior represents the behavior of an uh, object such as deposit withdraw this is related to the banking application that uh, project we have done uh, in our previous videos okay and identity it is used internally by the jvm to identify each object uniquely uh, so this is uh, just a, identity is the just a jvm part that it handles to identify the each object uh, uniquely in java okay uh, so First, we will see the theoretical part of the object and the class. Then we will mm, get into the, get into our IDE and see how class and objects are declared inside the code. Okay. So, what is a class? A class is a group of objects, or fields, methods, constructors, blocks, or nested classes and interfaces. These all kinds of methods, constructors that you wrote in uh, in Java, you put it inside a class, and a class holds all these fields. Okay and a class it is a template or a blueprint from which objects are created and it is a logical entity and it can it can't be physical okay so i will explain you one by one what uh, what i have to uh, speak right now okay so let me just open my ide uh, by the way guys if you are enjoying this series so please like share and subscribe to the channel also okay 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 wait uh, yeah this is the code of the project which you have which we have done previously okay if you are not watched this video go and watch it okay so here let me just create a new java class name oh, what should i name this classes and objects okay Okay, let me just increase the font size and let me just get my main method. Okay, so here you can see one cl uh, one class is declared. Okay, public class classes and objects. Okay, so as I have taught you over here in our in my notes. Okay, it holds methods, constructors, blocks, and nested classes. So uh, right now this class is holding one main method main met, main is the method method name okay and what what here here we have written it is holding method constructor okay class is nothing but the uh, one place where you in in which you have writing methods all those uh, interfaces and uh, code okay and here i can do whatever i want like just i will print one statement hello world and if i click here okay so it, it it will get that class and it will run that class okay just wait let me run this class okay so here you can see hello world is getting printed on the console what internally java does is uh, our class is this classes and objects okay dot java this this is our file and whenever i click on the run button it converts that dot java file this file into a dot class file the dot class file is then again used by the jvm and it uh, it is converted uh, it into the byte code and uh, which is the machine understandable code and our code get executed in the console okay so this is the behind the scene how this works okay and now i will give you an example of the object also uh, so that you can understand clearly uh, instead of writing here I will uh, wait okay forgot let me just create one new class for you so that you can understand clearly okay 
Uh, so this this is our class and here we let me just create one method okay uh, print and this method is doesn't accepting anything and this method is simply printing hello world message on the screen okay so I have created another class name objects and one method is there inside this class name print and this method is doing nothing just simply printing the hello world on the screen okay so let me just uh, clear it out uh, comment it out and how to create an object okay so this is one part uh, listen carefully so to create an object you have to write the class name oops sorry objects and then you have to write the what name you are giving to the object okay so name can be anything like this anything you want you name you name that object okay so i will name this as obj1 because this is my first object so you can write anything okay uh, so after that here you can see we we have also created uh, this object during our project itself okay uh, after that you have to write new then again the class name and this okay uh, so you'll be wondering you know, why I have not passed over something over here because in, uh, if you are following the series you, you can see we have passed something over here that's because our we have created one constructor of this class we will cover uh, in depth what are the con constructor in our upcoming videos also okay so now for till now you just understand how to create an object okay so this is, we, are, we just have to write the class name the object name and the new keyword is used to memory alloc memory allocation of that object okay and after that using that object i can uh, call all those methods and constructor which are written inside that class okay so i will write obj1 dot sprint okay so here you can see and i will just click on this run button and here you can see again hello world is getting printed on the console i have i have commented out this uh, let, let, let me just create run it again so that you guys can understand clearly okay hello world uh, is printed on the console how it is working internally just uh, look at here one object is objects object is the class name we created an object object one we use the new keyword to um, allocate the memory of the to our object and using that object we have called one print method of that class okay one print method is here and uh, the call get executed uh, call gets over here uh, void print is called and executed and inside this we have written one south uh, print statement that is hello world and this hello world is getting printed on the console the program execution comes here and comes here and main methods gets over and our program gets terminated okay so this is pretty much about the classes and objects in Java so I hope you guys have get, got some idea of the, about the classes and objects in Java. So in our upcoming videos, we will cover, uh, I guess, methods, uh, which is the next part of the object-oriented programming language. So thank you guys for watching this video.